How does one adult? If I fail at it, can I hide in my blanket fort? Listen, Yamatori, I've been living by myself for a while now, and I just want to say, it's perfectly okay if you want to hang out in your blanket fort, eat Pop-Tarts for dinner, if you just want to sit around in your pajamas all day, because frankly, that's what I do on a regular basis. Ice cream or cake? I'm personally more of an ice cream fan. For me, I don't think cake could ever beat ice cream. It could be just as good, but no, not better. If you were a fruit, what would you be? I'd have to go with a banana, because it has a lot of potassium. Okay, okay. Are you a banana? Okay. What is your favorite music genre? I have to say I'm a big fan of the oldies. I really like the Beatles, Elton John, Billy Joel. I'm into a lot of 80s music now. I'm actually a, a big fan of Toto. No, no. Yes, yes, that Toto, yes. I guess in general, I'm really into soft rock. What is your favorite episode of Gravity Falls? Either Carpet Diem or The Bottomless Pit. I find the idea hilarious of people switching bodies using static electricity, and I can't get over Sassy Stan. And you can't see my girdle? Where my girdle at? Kids are laughing, laughing at that grunkle. I can't do Grey Delisle justice. Do you watch anime? If so, what is your favorite anime? If not, tell me your favorite episode of Steven Universe. You know what, Cookie Arts? I'll give you both. I haven't watched a lot of anime, so I can't say that I'm a big anime fan. But I do really enjoy Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I've seen all of the filler, I've seen Dragon Ball, I've seen Dragon Ball GT, I'm watching Dragon Ball Super right now. All around, great storyline, great characters, and it's managed to stay relevant even after 30 years. That's pretty impressive. And my favorite episode of Steven Universe is Steven and the Stevens. Time travel and catchy music, what more could you want? Hi? Okay. Will you make more covers of Steven Universe songs? I just want to be clear right now. This is not a channel dedicated only to Steven Universe. I do enjoy the show, and I enjoy the music even more. The thing is, this channel was first dedicated to doing voice impressions. It has evolved to include more music type things, but I can only reach so many people by focusing on Steven Universe. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop making Steven Universe covers. It just means that they won't come out frequently. You'll probably see one every few months or so. Because I do have more Steven Universe related ideas. And I highly encourage you all to check out my other videos if you haven't seen them, because I want you to enjoy the majority of the content that I put out. Do you prefer Marvel or DC? Sorry to say Batman and Superman fans, but I am Marvel all the way. I've seen the Christian Bale Batman movies and they're really good, but they didn't do anything for me. I really loved the whole Marvel revolution that started back with Iron Man and Captain America. And I love the fact they're bringing in superheroes that a lot of people don't really know much about. Are you going to see Fantastic Beasts and Doctor Strange in November? If so, which one are you more excited to see? This is a very difficult decision for me. I am a very big fan of both the Harry Potter universe and the Marvel universe. Uh, I can't, I can't choose. I guess I'll say Fantastic Beasts because I've waited since 2011 for something Harry Potter related to come out. There's always been Marvel movies coming out over the past 10 years, something like, I don't know. I do look forward to seeing both of them, almost equally. Can you do an impression of your favorite Gravity Falls character? Yeah, but I'll need to set it up. Uncle Stan, are you wearing a blindfold? Ha! <laughs> no, but with these cataracts, I might as well be. What is that, a woodpecker? What's the most fun thing to do with friends? Ah, friends. I remember when I used to have those. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've never had friends. I'm also kidding about that, too. My friends have done things from miniature golf to bowling to drive-in movies. And a lot of the times we just end up sitting around, talking, reminiscing. We really like to be nostalgic. We're also all very unoriginal, but I love every moment I spend with my friends. Especially now that I've got my own job, I'm living by myself, and I'm just doing my own thing. Cherish those moments. What's your favorite radio show? I don't listen to a lot of radio shows. I'm more familiar with podcasts. Podcast-wise, I kind of like Rooster Teeth. I've also listened to Rhett and Link's Ear Biscuits. In terms of radio shows, I think the best ones are the ones that air with BBC. And the two radio shows that I have listened to are I'm Sorry, I Haven't a Clue, and The Unbelievable Truth. Gotta love David Mitchell. What school did you go to to learn to sing better? I didn't go to singing school. I'm not classically trained. 
I am not a professional. In fact, I made a whole video about that and how I am not necessarily good. I took some singing lessons from my piano teacher. I was in choir in high school, doing a little bit of musical theater. I sang a little in college. That's about the extent of it. I don't consider myself a great singer. I consider myself an adequately decent singer. Sometimes. Who is your favorite YouTuber? I have two. Technically, it's three. I am a big fan of Rhett and Link. I watch their Good Mythical Morning show every weekday. You should also go check that out. I also really enjoy Brizzy Voices. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Brizzy. Brizzy is the main inspiration behind me starting my YouTube channel. She gave me the courage to do things that I didn't think I'd ever feel comfortable doing in public. She helped me realize that it's okay to be weird. Embrace your weirdness. She also proved that hard work really does pay off. If you haven't heard of Brizzy, I'll put a link to her channel in the description, but I sincerely recommend that you check her work out. She has been a great influence on me. Do you have any advice for people who want to start voiceover? I'm not the kind of person who gives great advice, but here goes. There might be a lot of people that will tell you voice acting is too difficult. It's too challenging to get into. There's too much competition. You're not going to be able to make a living off of it, but I think that's only true for the people that don't try their hardest. And obviously there are people who are living comfortably off of voice acting. The point is to not let what those people say prevent you from doing what you think will make you happy. I enjoy voice acting because it makes other people happy. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like there's something unique about me. Like there's something that sets me apart from other people. And sometimes that's a nice feeling to have. It's also important to practice. If you wanna do a celebrity impression and you just can't get it down, keep working at it. And you know what? If you can't do that celebrity impression, that's okay because you just created a brand new voice that you can use for something else. I highly recommend you check out this book, Voice Over Voice Actor by Yuri Lowenthal and Tara Platt who are both voice actors, and it's chock full of voice acting information and advice, how you can take care of your voice, how you can audition and everything and make a demo. You can buy it on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description. Trump or Clinton? Actually, neither. I'm a big supporter of Vermin Supreme, and I am a big advocate for his free pony policy. What one celebrity, dead or alive, would you want to meet? Without question, it has to be Paul Rudd. Cause who doesn't like Paul Rudd? What is your real name? I don't feel comfortable disclosing that information, but there is a clue hidden on my channel. Not really hidden, it's kind of obvious. And those of you that frequent my channel should be able to find it. Are you going to invite me to your wedding when you get married? I would bring that up with cookie arts. Do you have a girlfriend? Actually, I do. Just kidding, I'm waiting until marriage. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted questions for this video. Go ahead and check out all the links in the description that I mentioned earlier. Check out my other videos, including my last Q&A, and thank you for subscribing.